Welcome back. We are here looking at the ETFs and this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, April 19, 2021. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and courses. The link is down below. So I'll start by looking at the ARK Innovation. And as you can see, we have pulled back from the 100 moving average or the 50 moving average. They're actually at the same point. And this is not a really good sign for the CDF, that you have a crossing of the 50 moving average and the 100 moving average. Last time we had that crossing was all the way back here in June last year. So the crossing of this is a bearish signal, and uh, this has basically been trending downwards for quite some time. And um, yes, considering that most companies in this ETFs are, we are with an extremely high uh, PE ratio, for example, uh, Tesla, which is fairly, um, then it could make sense that we could see this pullback towards the uh, 200 moving average. But the crossing of this uh, 50 moving average and the 100 moving average is a long term basically trend. We can see that when we crossed here, that we were basically trending upwards for a very long time. Another crossing here doesn't it doesn't really mean that we're going to see a similar crossing to the or a trend to the downside, but it is not a bullish shine. It is a it is a very bearish shine. So, if you look at other technical indicators, we can see that the MACD is in negative territory and is leveling off. The RSI is leveling off as well and becoming bearish. CCI is becoming bearish and so is the stochastic. It's still in bullish territory, but it has crossed the signal line and it's becoming bearish. So we have we ran into uh, resistance here at the 100 moving average. It's also the top of the bullish band. And now it looks like we are heading back towards the middle at 120 or even the bottom here at 112. So that would be... Um, back towards where we were here in the bottom of uh, um, at the 200 moving average where we almost tested here and here and so on and uh, if that basically breaks then we could head all the way down towards a 92 in the yeah well if the basically the 200 moving average breaks so if we manage to rally above the 50 moving average then we are looking at the rally up towards the previous highs but that looks like it's very 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 far off so that is a rally from here give or take another 20 uh, 28 percent to the outside but a rejection here at the 100 100 moving average that is not a good sign and due to the fact that we have a crossing here with 150 that is not a very good sign for this etf so let's look at the dvi so dvi has pulled back it basically um, gapped up and then it pull back a little bit but we are up at 117 at this current stage we're getting fairly overstretched so here we can see here in the bullish band we are basically outside of the bullish band so we could see a pullback towards the middle uh, of the bullish band in the next uh, a few trading days that's a mi minus of 2.38 percent um, that would make sense considering how far we are up here in the bullish band also due to the fact that we are at 74 in the rsi so we're significantly over bond as well however other technical indicators they are fairly bullish stochastic is very bullish cci is very bullish macd is in positive territory and is cross going to cross the signal line as it looks like we are still under but at this point it looks like we are going to cross and that is even a more bullish sign so it doesn't mean that we're going to break down significantly it just means that probability of that occurring is much higher than considering that it would be down here so let's look at the uh, vti so vti is uh, we just look at the rsi number we are at 87 at this current stage and we are significantly overbought uh, the we are we have had a massive rally since we reached the bottom here at the 119. We have basically been rallying, give or take 9% to the upside. We are approaching the top of the bullish band. We are there's still room here to um for the CGS to basically increase. We'll probably go towards the 120 before this basically breaks down towards the middle of the bullish band. But it has basically been basically playing, playing with fire for the last two weeks as it has basically been been way outside of the bullish band here for example and approaching outside here 
and the pullback usually occurs when that happens. You can just see here that we fall all the way down below the Bollinger Band of the drop of roughly 5.7%. Uh, so that is to be taken into consideration. Um, other technical indicators are very bullish. MACD is very bullish, the stochastic is very bullish, and so is the, uh, the CCI. But we are overstretched and significantly overbought in this ETF. So let's look at MCHI. So we have seen a bit of a rally on, on Friday, but still trading underneath the 20 exponential. We're at 82. Uh, technical indicators are, well, they're, they're improving, uh, not massively, but uh, MACD is still in negative territory, has crossed the signal line uh, several weeks ago. Uh, RSI is uh, bearish, the CCI is flat, and the stochastic is bullish at this point. So we are trading, trending above the middle of the bullish band. So this could be an indication that we could go towards the top of the bullish band. That basically is a retest of the 100 moving average here at 85. A break below the bottom of the bullish band could open the door all the way down to where towards the 200 uh, moving average and the very lows here. So uh, it is to be seen. Um, this has basically been broken, uh, has been falling quite aggressively. This fall was roughly 18%, and it has only recovered, give or take, 4.25%, give or take. So uh, let's look at IVV. So this is uh, approaching a territory where it most likely will see a pullback at this, at this point. We are approaching the upper trend line. We are approaching the top of the bullish band. We are significantly overbought at this point. Um, MACD is very bullish, stochastic is bullish, and the CCI is bullish. Uh, but a pullback from here towards the 20 exponential, that could be expected as a drop of 3.25%, or even lower than that, towards the bottom of the bullish band, that's a drop of, give or take, 8.26%. But first target would most likely be at the middle of the bullish band, which is at 3.94%. So this is getting fairly overstretched. Last time we basically got close to the top of this channel, it broke all the way down towards the 100 moving average. And uh, that was basically the bottom of, or even lower than uh, it breached the bottom of the bullish band the last time we did that. So it is getting fairly overstretched at this point and a pullback could be expected. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.